On to the pop day, mirror freestyle BMX maximum remix. This song we're playing is Ryan Nyquist with uh, his, you know, full stats there. Really good air. Uh, but as you'll find out, these stats you start off with do not really amount to much. Uh, also, here is his outfits right now. And uh, here is Greenville, which uh, as I go through Veil Trails, I will also explain some things that I have now learned because uh, I've been trying to grind out all these characters in my spare time. And oh boy, have I learned some things. But first, welcome to Greenville NC. This beyond day's backyard lies an obstacle course with dirt jumps, wood ramps, and power lines. Open the gates around trailers, trampolines, and power lines, and watch out for the train. So, yeah, Veil of Trails is going to be interesting. Grind for electric boxes, jump over the trade trunk, clear the concrete half pipe, and 20,000 points. So, these electric boxes will open up these gates for you, and uh, all the other shit is just, you know, doing some jumps and getting the points. One of these boxes will also open up uh, this sign here that says stop. It will open up the way for you to make that jump across the trains, which we're doing later on in the hardcore challenges. Um, but yeah, I want to explain to you guys, also this game has weird shit going on with its physics. I want to explain to you guys what I've learned, because, oh boy, have I learned some things that... Uh, Kind of give a lot of questions in, and I'll be going through and giving you all of these things as we go along when they become relevant. Uh, so first of all, holding the X button. Um, usually, I would I was gonna say to never do this really and just time yourself on the X button, and this is still true to some extent. If you are making these sort of challenge jumps, I would recommend just doing that because otherwise. Um, if you hold it down, you actually gain speed from this. But because of the way the hitbox are with the objectives and such, if you do this and you go over the hitbox, even if you did the thing, the game will say you didn't do the thing. So, you gotta make sure to jump too far and too high or else you fuck yourself. Anyway, a rhythm modifier, four jumps with trick, use a trailer of no hand tabletop and 40,000 points. A modifier is a circle button, and a trick is a square button, so there you go. You don't have to do anything new with these ones, they can be the same thing over and over again. So you know that, at least. Also, um, there are some levels in this game that were originally contests, uh, but then they were changed into, um, fucking actual levels. Which, I don't know all of the levels that were changed. Um, what I do know is that Insect 47 knows this shit at the very least, so you should watch his Let's Play if you want to hear about that and also see somebody, you know, essentially have a bit more of their own little experience this game and such, their own struggles with this game. Um, I'm not saying that I completely and utterly, you know, bitch boyed them a little bit, but, uh, they, they did have a bit of a struggle with the best bike in the game for their character with one of the first hardcore challenge I did in the fucking Let's Play so far, whereas I completed in the first bike in, like, not long. Um, but yeah. But here's the thing, here's where it really comes down with the X button jump thing. And that is with the ramps. If you, like, press and hold down the up button once, by the way, don't have it be twice, otherwise you do a manual by accident. Uh, but if you do that, and you're going down the ramp, as soon as you land back onto the ramp, hold down the X button. If you do it correctly every time, you jump off every correctly every time, your usual gain of like maybe two feet or so can go from five feet height increase to ten feet height increase every time by doing this. So, you won't see me doing it right now. If you want, I could show you it with me doing a stream or whatever and just, you know, showing these tricks off as like an extra video, maybe. For like the old channel. But yeah, just, there's that. Also, hardcore, jump out the flatbed car, grind the phone line, grind the second trailer, and 180 feet on the power line behind me. Not the one we're going for, but the power line behind me. So, first of all, wait for three seconds, then jump the freight, because that's the time when you want to get that out of the way. Then you have to aim yourself just correctly on this trampoline here to get this, otherwise you will go past it and miss completely. You have to hit, like, somewhat 
the middle area of the second trampoline on the way there to make that one. Otherwise, you'll miss this completely every time. It's a bit awkward. Uh, the trailer jump. The game has it next to the trailer you use for the uh, pro go beforehand. Also, time yourself correctly or else this fucking bouncy castle shit happens if you have the train. Um, it's kind of funny, but yeah. But yeah, with the second trailer, uh, they want you to make this little jump, and I do make it, but I would honestly recommend you use the first trailer with its little kicker and such to somewhat angle yourself correctly for the jump to then make it to the second trailer and then message up over it, what have you, and then grind the trailer from there. Um, and that's all the hardcore challenges you can do right now. I'm not joking because I mentioned beforehand, I'm pretty sure in the video last time or in the description, that there is a hardcore challenge that you cannot do immediately. Like, it is possible to do all of these with what you have right off the bat, but this 180 feet one is the impossible one currently. It is not possible at all to reach this, and there's a reason why. So here's the thing, with your starting bike, you are able to reach a maximum of like 90 feet maybe. And the reason for this is because this power line here, as you grind through, you start slowing down more and more. Even if you are a balanced master, eventually the game is going to stop so much you're going to end up being put off the rail or even bail immediately because you have no speed now on the rail. You are basically stolen, if anything. So because of this, um, your bike is too slow. And there is a character who has really good speed and with his second bike would be super fucking fast. However, this game, the stats do not actually matter. Like, they do matter a little bit, but they don't matter for the grand scheme of things. You could have the fastest character in the fucking game with the second bike that would increase the stats even more with the speed, and you'd still not be able to make this. If you want to make this grind, you must get the third bike for every character. The third bike, by default, will make sure you get the speed needed. That is the thing about this game. The stats don't matter, the bikes do. So, there's that. And you will need it for almost every character. Except one. And this one character is also the same guy that can't really, that has a struggle doing the 100 feet grind challenge in school. And is also the only black character in this game. Sean Butler. So, in case you want about Sean, uh, it is impossible for him to make this even with the third bike. You need the fourth bike to make it because the third bike, he's actually too slow on that. And he is the only character that cannot do that challenge with the third bike he unlocks. Now, I'm not saying this game is being racist to Sean, but I think this game might be low-key being racist to Sean. Anyway, Greenfield Park is next. This is what street riding is all about. Greenville Ramp Park has grinds, jumps, and spines. Beyond the park fence, loading docks offer big transfers and secret warehouses. Do a seat grab, wall ride the Miracle Boy, grind the four wooden crates and 25,000 points. I'll look at the trick list real quickly for the seat grab, because again, there are so many fucking tricks. It's stupid. Look at this. Look at how much I have to go down to find this. Fuck's sake. So there's the direction. Done. Now, war rides, I'm still not used to at this point of the recording, so I still keep fucking it up. I still keep thinking it's down X, it's up X, really. It's not down X. Pretty sure down X is aggressive inline still. So, I still hate this. Just have the war ride be going up to a wall and pressing the grind button. Stop making it the fucking jump button plus direction. This shit sucks. Anyway, now it's time for the four wooden crates, which is easy. Just grind these crates around here, which have grind on them, and you're good to go. 
Uh, now it's time for another little tip that I've learned from this game, and it is the backflip. If you just do the backflip and, you know, do the thing with it and all, you only get about 5,000 points out of it. That's lame. And I discourage you from doing that normally when you're doing the ramps and shit. However, where I encourage you to do backflip shit is when you are essentially gaining a lot of speed and going back and forth on a half pipe area. Or bowl. And my reasoning for this is because if you can reach a certain height, you can then be able to land a double backflip. Reach a bit more and you can hit into a grind with a double backflip. If you do that and then do a modifier immediately from the double backflip and then grind, you can hit 50,000 points in one go. I'll transfer over the fans, transfer over the cargo box, grind the top of the free warehouse doors, and 45,000 points. So, this one's a little bit awkward because these two transfers are a little bit awkward. The first one over the fence is a bit eh, and the one over the box is less eh, but it still has a bit of an amp thing to it. I'm not a huge fan of it. But then comes those uh, warehouse doors. In order to get the warehouse doors open, you need to time your button presses uh, correctly so that you can actually reach for it and the game will let you get the height needed to get the, the shit. So here's the thing. Uh, this is where the difference between tapping the button and pressing the button comes in. If you tap the button 9 times out of 10, the game will not give you the jump. If you press it like a normal person, you don't hold it, but just press the button normally, uh, you will actually get a bit more height out of that, and the game will then basically give you what you need to then reach the jump for you to make the fucking grinds. So, as long as you know to press it and not tap it, and you time it correctly while holding the up button and shit, uh, you'll make the shit. If you hold the X button, by the way, more than likely you're not gonna make it anyway because these kickers will slow you down, and that alone will make the game just not give you the jump. So, there you go. 45,000 points, we gotta get that shit. And by the way, my thing I said beforehand will get you that in one trick. Which is double backflip with a modifier. I think it is, because it's gonna be the same direction you're using for the backflip. It's gonna be the down one. Um, it's not the X up, but I forgot the name of it already. I'm sorry. Uh, but just do the double backflip down, down, and then square, and then do the modify with it immediately, which is down circle. And as long as you do it correctly, by the time you go all the way around while spinning constantly, you will end up gaining 40,000 points just from that alone. If you hit a grind and then, you know, jump out of a spin, more than likely you'll get over 50,000 points from that. And from just one combo, you can beat this goal immediately. So, yeah. Also, as you just saw there, I was struggling with that because I wasn't doing it correctly. And yeah, there you go. So, I'm going to go ahead and restart now to take care of the score. Um, but yeah, those are my tips right now for this shit. And one last tip to bring up is... Um, should I bring this up right now? Yeah, fuck it, I might as well bring it up right now. Manuals! Uh, I have essentially gotten better at manuals. And... I've pretty much gotten much better, in fact. In fact, uh, in a level later on, you will see that, um... I'll show it off near the end of... At the near end of the video for that one part. A video I recorded of myself, uh, getting... 1,000 feet, like over 1,000 feet in manual length. I'm not joking about that. I actually got that fucking far. Uh, that's quite a record for me, and I am very proud of it. However, you can also control your nose manuals, because nose manuals, you know, they have that little she little spin thing at the start of it and all. If you hold it a little bit and then let go before the spin happens or in the middle of it or whatever, and then press it a little bit afterwards, like around the time it's nearly over. Oh, by the way, grind the warehouse roof, jump over the windows, uh, grind and jump across two of the warehouse roofs and grind the entire uh, rail on the rooftops. There are four spots of that one. 
the windows here, there are three windows, and um, ultimately, this is one of the easier hardcore challenges in all the levels, uh, because really, it really comes down to just jump bitch. The grind one's the only challenging one for a starting bike, and really all you gotta do with that one, I will show it off in this part, because there is a trick to it that can work out for you. Uh, there's another trick, however, that I'll tell you about, but right now, just take care of the windows. The windows, there's one there and then two over here. Uh, use kickers to make the thing, and hold up and then jump correctly in order to essentially make the thing and don't correctly remember it's just press the x button when you get up to the fucking kicker do not hold it do not tap it because then the game will allow you to actually make the fucking thing instead of fucking you over um but yeah the nose manuals if you press and hold the up button when you start the nose manual for a little bit and then let go during the spin thing that happens, and then uh, repress it again, and then you just balance them there. The balance bar won't go all fucking fucky. It will actually act as a normal balance bar after the animation, and from there on, you can actually keep doing a nose manual for quite some time, which is incredibly useful information if you want to, you know, get the distance on a nose manual, which for a challenge later on, you will need. So that can be helpful. Um, however, the nose manual is still fucked because sometimes the game can just automatically, for no good reason at all, make the nose manual kick out because of the spin, where it just fucks around and maybe you'll even bail because of the spin. Uh, honestly, that spin is just bugging out the nose manual so much, it's making it unusable anyway. So even if there's new information you have for that one, it's not gonna be that useful. Um, but yeah, those are my little tricks for now, and ultimately, uh, these really, really help make this game so much easier now compared to watching this recording now, because I'm being a noob here, I'm being an absolute chocolate die on this shit, because this shit's not that hard at all. Making that jump there, I bailed there, you can make it about bailing at all. But here's the trick here, which is go out the side after doing that goal, and then grind these two rails from there. You'll most likely fall off. Just go back out to take care of the other two rails from this roof here, and that's done. You can also, however, do this trick of constantly jumping and grinding. If you do that while you're balanced in the middle, uh, the balancing won't fuck you around, and you can keep on going that way, and you can utilize that to take care of all four of them during the thing. So, you can do it that way, or you can do it the way you're seeing right now. Either way, as long as you have the time for it and you're not being an idiot, you will make this. Also, that little tower there, if you land onto it, it acts as a trampoline, so you'll bounce around a little bit. That's what you know about that. Anyway, uh, we can now move on forward to the next level, which this one is actually rather annoying. Uh, this one has, if I can, uh, you know, really get into this, Backyard Pools, has one of the worst hardcore challenges in the game. It's not impossible like the Wire one in the first one we did, Greenville, um, but this one has a really bad one. A rainy day is no excuse to pass up the chance to ride in a yard full of empty pools and let a few pools stop you from busting huge air tricks or pool, pool transfers. Find a good pool if you want to get some real air. Knock over the four blue chair decks, Deck chairs, transfer from pool to pool, grind the green lawnmower, and 30,000 points in a run. The green lawnmower is easy, just jump for it and grind. These lawn chairs, the well, deck chairs, are easy to find as well. Just knock into them. It's four of them. Done. Might want to use like a stall to get up to two of them. Well, one of them really, but there you go. Use these uh, half pipes or pools to get your points. And um, as for the pool to pool transfer, which I honestly ended up forgetting where it was. And forget about it entirely until I had to restart the run. Um, it's the pool you see from right in front of you, this blue pool here. Uh, just jump across from one end to the other. Uh, it's actually a gray pool here, but there's a blue pool on the other end. Go from the gray pool to the blue pool, and that's it. That's, that's the goal there. These beginner ones are super fucking beginner. You should not fail these or struggle at all of these ones. Uh, so yeah. 
Anyway, um, this whole entire level has a horrible hardcore goal, which requires you to do a trick over a long distance and then land in a specific spot to get the goal done. However, because of the lead up to making that fucking jump, it is so obnoxious and so bullshit that I hit it with a passion. And even if you have some of the best bikes out there, that goal is still going to give you a bad time because the jump really is just dog shit. You need to build up speed, and the way you build up speed is so awkward and clunky and just not fun. It's just a pain in the fucking cock. And um, even if you do it correctly, there's a good chance the game will fuck you on the angling, on the jump, or what have you. To where you're not even going to make the damn thing. Anyway. So. Yeah. This goal. This level's goal just sucks. And I hate it. And a lot of people hate it. And I don't blame them. Anyway. 50,000 points. And transfer to the pool. The pool to pool. Just do this jump here. And you're fine. Done. And yeah. 30,000 points. I'd recommend just, you know. Using these pools here. And what have you to then just, you know, do all sorts of tricks and doing some grinds and shit to get it all the way up and get done, like, seconds, and then move on from there. I, I'm being serious here. I'm sorry for being so shit right now uh, with what I'm saying compared to what you're seeing. Again, I got much better on my way through getting for the other characters compared to this recording. Anyway... Next up, we have Pro, that's for Pull to the Roof, Grind on the Clothesline, Red Lawn Mower Grind, and 50,000 points. You can do all of these in the one run in a line, because they're all set up for a line. First of all, you want to go ahead and go from the pool to the roof. The pool is here, the roof is over there. Um, just jump off this little kicker there to the roof. Then go right, and you will find the clothesline over to the left side. It's kind of blindsided, but if you can angle it correctly and then jump correctly and such, you can then get into a grind of the clothesline and essentially grind all the way down into this other rooftop over there. Go forward from there, and you will end up uh, going over a fence, which will have the secret area where the pool is and shit. The red lawnmower is over that fence, over, like past the fucking pool, and uh, you grind that. And it will open up the way in to go into the secret area easily. I'll show the cut the animation for it. And uh, then use that giant secret pool to get your 50,000 points. And there you go. You can get that done in one run. No problem. It's just, you know, this shit. It's a fucking bastard. Um, but yeah, if you're doing it the way I'm doing it right now... With the clothesline, see your left is use this little kicker here of the window to get upward and grind that from the left. Uh, go back on the rooftop from that spot afterwards and then use that uh, little ramp to then go up and then head right on this kicker here. Go over this fence. You can just ride through and then jump or you can just do what I did there. Uh, and here is the snake run and the pull. This is where that challenge comes in. Because the build-up is the snake run, and you see that puddle there, that big puddle in the pool? That's your landing spot. You'll see what problems we get from this shit. But yeah, here's the little animation. It's amazing, isn't it? Are you ready for the fucking action? Amazing. So, um, yeah, there you go. And no more lawnmowers to deal with. We have all the areas unlocked now, so now we got to deal with is just taking care of getting our score and then doing the hardcore challenges from there on. So, <laughs> let's, uh, let's talk about the hardcore challenges, shall we? The one I'm talking about is doing a Superman from the snake run down into that puddle there in this pool. It is one of the worst hardcore challenges in this game. I hate it with a fucking burning passion. Most people do. It is one of the most obnoxious goals in the game. Even if the best bike you can have in the game, it would still be a pain in the ass because everything about that snake run is god awful. And, uh, yeah, it just sucks. It just really sucks. Another goal here of Hardcore, however, that's a problem. I'm about to see him right now. 
So, let's pick on the deck. Superman over the puddle, grind from the flower box to pool edge, and transfer from one rail to the other on the pools. That one, the last one, is the other problematic one because it requires you to get a good amount of speed and then jump in from the right side. Uh, it's a little awkward, but you'll see how I do it later on. The easy ones, however, is the flower box and the, uh, the nose pick thing. Really, it's just up and right and then grind with a nose pick stall for the one. And then these flower boxes here, there's three flower boxes and there's the pull edge on the end. Just grind all of these and stall on that pull edge and there you go, completed. Here is me doing the nose pick thing, by the way. Uh, just hold up and jump across, then hold up and right, diagonal, and then grind and you get the nose pick out of that. There you go. And then comes me doing the grind across the pools, which gets some speed from the pools here, and then just utilize that to grind across. There's the grinds there. If you do it this way, you're doing it harder for yourself. Do not use the blue area. It sucks. Uh, use the gray area instead. It gives you a nice little flat surface to, you know, do your jump from. And, uh, yeah, just do this. Time to jump correctly to get the height needed and the distance needed, and there you go. And now it's time for the Superman. This goal sucks. I hate this fucking goal. This goal is a pain in the ass, and it's just the fucking worst. You have to use these little uh, ramps here from the snake to get your speed, and then you must use that speed to then jump across this little kicker over here, which will then allow you to get the distance needed uh, to get into the pool area and win the day, essentially. All while doing a Superman. As you can see, however, this shit will make you lose your speed a lot, and it's just a really bad time with the ramps. And sometimes the ramps will force you forward instead of being able to move around, and you'll end up kind of getting stuck on the ramps a little bit. And uh, not only that, sometimes the ramps don't fucking work, and you'll jump off of them, and it's just... It sucks. This this entire goal sucks. And getting the speed for this one sucks. And trying to do this one sucks. And it took me like 10 minutes to do this one. I hate this goal. Um, honestly, even if you get the better bikes, you will still have this issue. This issue does not go away even with the best bike in the game. It's just a terrible fucking goal. Just keep at it until eventually the game gives you it. That's all I can really tell you here. Use these kickers or what have you to gain speed. Like so. Like if you get that going, good. That will be the best option to get. If the game does that and you can just ride down the ramp like that into a nice little uh, forward motion towards the thing, good. That will give you enough speed to take care of the jump and that's all you need. Otherwise, good fucking luck. And that's going to be it for now. So, overall, we could do all the hardcore challenges to Greenville except for the 180 feet grind one. We cannot do that until we get our third bike in the game. So, we're just going to have to go ahead and, you know, move on from that. But, we are going to go ahead into the competition. Because... Now I got to talk about the competition. I went ahead and backed off and saved before I went for this one, but freeway off ramp. This is the beginning of the contest. People I can say will say this is some of the easiest contests in the game. It's not. It's really fucking not. Because, okay, and a bad area next to the freeway is the same if your first VMAX competition, a graffiti covered drainage channel, particularly particularly torn down off ramp and jumps at every turn give you plenty of opportunities to impress the judges you start off immediately and you get this nice little downward thing here you got some ramps around here some half pipes got some spots to grind on and such you got all sorts of shit to work with really the problem the competitions themselves suck uh, in order to get what you need for the score as far as I can figure out you need a big enough score so the standard, but you also need to not bail because that will take off points. Even if you didn't do any tricks, you bail, you lose points anyway. So a no bail run is needed. But that's not all. You must also ride all around the level and skate as much different spots as possible. So that's already a problem. 
But then to make matters worse, you cannot do the same trick after the first time. Even if you bail on the fucking trick, you can't do it again. Not only do you get less points, but the game penalizes you for repeat tricks. And now, the game will tell you in a hint, I believe, that on the first competition, this penalty does not exist, luckily. But on the rest of these, they fucking do. If you do the same trick over and over again, you will get penalized heavily, and you will lose a lot of points out of this. You will get a bad score. So, knowing all of this, this is a super strict competition, and that sucks. But... You are betting that this game is going to be nice, and it is going to essentially have the AI play nice, you know? It's going to have them maybe, you know, get a fair score, usually like about a 70 right now, and then the highest being like a 90. No. No, these guys are fucking random. These guys and their scores are entirely random. And right now, as you can tell, I am second. If we want to get our bike, by the way, if we want to actually get the bike for doing the competitions, that's how you get the fucking bikes in this game. You get the competition wins, you will get a bike. But to get the bike, you must get a gold. If you get a silver, no bike for you. So, <laughs> you need to get a gold. But the AI is random. Sometimes the AI will have pretty mediocre scores. They might get a pretty high score, but then the next one might be a 70 or an 80. However, there are times that I have had where the AI is able to get the maximum of 99.9, .9, which I have not been able to pull off at all in this game. The highest I have gotten is a 98.7. And that is as far as I could get. I could never get a 99.9. .9. I don't think it's possible. Because I don't know if it's possible. But I've tried my fucking best. I've done all sorts of shit to, you know, try to get the 99.9. .9, and the game just never gives it to me. But the AI can get a 99.9. .9. In fact... I have had a run, which I have not taken the screenshot off because I was so pissed off. I was just like, fuck you, and I pressed X, and I just reset. I didn't, you know, save state, take a screenshot of it, anything like that. I was just so upset by it. I just was like, I don't want to see it. <coughs> and I still fucking don't. But, in one run, the AI was able to get a 99.9. .9 in both runs. You can automatically, without knowing, lose the fucking competition entirely on getting the gold because the game dictated to give the AI a perfect fucking score. So, um... That sucks. But I got the gold anyway, and so I got the bike, and I could go to Woodward Camp. So that's cool. Uh, but with this bucket, I'm going to show it off. Uh, you still can't do the 180 feet thing. The highest you can go is maybe 130 feet. But that's as far as you can go before the bike goes so slow it's basically a stall at that point. So yeah. The second bike, you still can't make it. Uh, but yeah, here it is. Haro Batrel XL is now the Haro Batrel X2. Upgrade components to the same frame, made for a slightly lighter but tougher bike. So you can see the speed's increased a lot, air and balance a bit. But, aim with that, still not enough to take care of this one hardcore challenge. So, yeah, we'll come back to this later on and get the third bike. I'll show it off right now, though, just to show you you can't do it. But, um, yeah, that is the competition, and I'm going to show off the competitions a lot. I still do. And, uh, it really is just a luck random chance on if the AI, the game gives it to you, because the AI did not score that high a score. Or you end up with the game getting like a 99.9 .9 and a 98 and then being so close to perfect score that you cannot win at all. So, yeah, this game is an asshole. But yeah, that's going to do it for that.
Uh, next time, we're going into our next set of levels, which are called not Greenville, but Woodward. So thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time for the Woodward stuff.